a quickening power. So go to Romans chapter 8, verse 11. Then if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwelleth in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal body by his spirit that dwelleth in you. Anybody with the Bible? Yes. No. To bank when you yes. And it's your Christy, yes, so did the crown, you know, yes, fee and me writing bay no ye, yes, so I rack it as sonny, as sonny. So to quicken is to to sort and me sonny G to revive you. It's on the gym to quicken you. So the resurrection of Jesus brought about quickening power. And I will explain what that quickening power is. In John chapter 5, verse 21. John 5, 21. As the Father raised up the dead and quickened them, even so the Son quickened whom he will. Now, hallelujah. Amen. Without the quickening power, the devil has power over you. Light see me, Sonny G. Satan in Yakbara Lori. That's why Jesus says, I am the resurrection, I am the life. Abi. He didn't change the He said, I am the resurrection and I am the life. So is his death and resurrection brought about life into you. He could at the agenda we are in First Corinthians chapter fifteen, you know we carry the kini ori current in your go. The forty-five that we read earlier, verse forty-five. I said current in your ogo tati aka adot tati aka. First Corinthians fifteen forty-five. He said, and it is written, the first man Adam was a living soul, but the last Adam was a quickness spirit. Quickness spirit. The last man Adam is talking about Jesus. Oh sorry, but now the, the resurrection of Jesus brought about power of life into you. Ajin de Christ. He brought you from the dead into life. What you don't know is everyone that is born into this world, we are born into death. In Psalm 51, that we know very well, he said, In sin, in sin did my mother conceive me. So, even though you were still in the womb, you're already a sinner in the womb. But he said, In sin did my mother conceive me. And so, you were given back to in sin. And everyone in sin, they are dead already. That's why First John chapter 5, verse 12. He that had not the son, he that had the son, had life. And he that had not the son of God, had not life. So, the question will be, what, what is life? So, anyone that is not born again, but they are alive, not they are living, right? So, what is he talking about by saying they will not have life? What he's saying is, everyone that is born into this world as human being, they are dead in sin. Until Jesus resurrected and you accept his resurrection power, you are still dead in sin. I have so is is dead and resurrection brought about power of life into you? You that you were dead before, now you now came back to life. That coming back to life now means that there's a life that you have in you that the the devil can no longer afflict. So when the arrow are flying up and down, you are sleeping and the devil is flying arrow everywhere. Where there is a quickening life in you that that arrow can no longer afflict. That is the quickening power of resurrection. Hallelujah. Amen.